Well, I thought it was about time I did another video. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. So anyway, I was recently given these super capacitors and I thought I would do something with them. Now, I'm sure some of you, by the title of this video, know what I'm going to do with them. But let's just have a quick overview before we start. So, each of these capacitors is 2.7 volts, 500 farad. So I decided to put them in series. So I should be able to charge these up to about 13 volts and still have about 100 farads. The thing is, exactly how I'm going to charge these remained a mystery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this wall wall power supply and a vacuum tube. Right, so let's get started. I'll just strip off a little bit more of this wire here. And you'll see why in just a minute. If I can just get that insulation to come off. So what I'm actually going to do is use the filament as a current limiting resistor, like so. Some people are probably freaking out at the moment. I need to find out what the polarity of this power supply is. I believe this is the negative wire, but I'm not sure, so I'll just quickly plug that in so we can see. Right, let's just see what the polarity of this is, because we don't want to charge the capacitors the wrong way around. I don't want to make these things explode before I've even started, so... Let's just have a look. I believe this one is a negative wire, and this one is the positive, so if we get a positive on the meter, which we don't... So, obviously, the striped wire is the positive, so let's just... Good thing I checked. Okay, so the striped wire is the positive. This is giving out a little bit more voltage than it says it does. It says that's a 12-volt supply, and that's actually giving 14 volts, so I'll have to keep an eye on things while I'm charging these. Right, so... Positive there. Because you know, I always come up with unique ways of doing things. Alright, let's just connect that up there. There we go. So, I'll just plug this in. Let it sit for about an hour or so. And we should be good to go. I can see that filament glowing already. I cannot plug these directly into a power supply without any kind of series current limiting resistor because these will pull so much current when charging, it's just, just going to put way too much stress on the supply. So, uh, yeah. Alright. Well, I'll just let this sit for a little while and let's see how things go. Okay, it's a little later on now, and we're up to about 5.5, volts. And that filament has gotten considerably dimmer since then, so... That confirms the capacitors are charging. And the voltage is still climbing. So, when we're fully charged, I'll be back. Okay, we are fully charged! Also, I did a little calculation to see how many joules this is going to contain. And here it is. So this is how many joules our supercapacitor bank contains. Over 9,000! So let's do some mass destruction with 9,100 joules. Alright, big chunk of iron. This should give us some nice big sparks. Got my screwdriver. Let's spark. What? That's more like it. Well, I think we need to take a few shots of this in the dark. So here are sparks in the dark.
and this is only 13 volts. You might notice I've still got the power supply connected, just to keep it topped up. That's how they do that effect on movies, you know. When they have sword fights and a spark like that. That's what they do. That's how they do it. Now to show that I'm not BSing you, and it really is the capacitors that are doing all the hard work, I've disconnected the power supply, so now all that's connected is the capacitors and these two electrodes. So, let's see those sparks in the dark. I, j I just can't help myself. I've got to have fun with electricity. Anyhow, while we wait for the wires to cool down because of the high current, I was thinking to myself, well, you know, using a valve filament as a current limiting resistor really isn't the best idea. What we really need is a constant current source to charge the things. So, here's one I made earlier. So what this does is it adjusts its output voltage depending on the load so that only a certain amount of current flows through that load. Alright, so let's see if this thing works. Now, the resistors I've used come to about 4.5 ohms so, according to this little equation here, we should have about 277 milliamps out of the circuit. So, let's see what we get. I've got this meter measuring voltage, this one to measure current. So, I'll plug this in. And the voltage is already too much for this meter to measure, so I'll go back. Okay, I've got about 25 volts coming out at the moment because there's no load. But when I short this out, that should get to about 277 milliamps. Do you ever have one of those days when absolutely nothing goes right? Well, I've just had one of those. So, now firstly I made a little bit of a bad connection this wire, which is connected here, I'd accidentally connected there, which was not the right place to connect it. These resistors here did not come to 4.5 ohms like I thought they would. They were considerably less than that. So I've put in some other resistors that do come to 4.5 ohms. And also, the fuse in my meter was blown. And if that doesn't top everything, my meter probes have gone open. So I've had to improvise. But now I've sorted out all those little problems, it's now working the way it should. And if I just connect this to the amps, you can see we get about 278 milliamps, which is about how much I, well, which is about how much I calculated. And yeah, you could run it like that all day, short it out. So, we have a nice little constant current power supply, so... I can use that to charge my supercapacitors, but we will need to keep an eye on the voltage. Okay, we're almost charged. So, let's make some sparks. Don't run, it's just amps. Thing about this is because we've got the constant current source connected up, it can recharge. I don't know how many amps this is. Of course, it would be nicer in the dark. This is what you call discharging a capacitor.
Anyhow, I've got other things to do, so yeah. Let's just see if that gets hot. And it's warm. Only just though. Anyway, I've got other things to do, so yeah, until next time, goodbye.